Bag CNCs include features that simplify and error-proof the setting of workpiece coordinate system offsets and tool length geometry offsets for job setup. All the values entered manually are consistent and known ahead of time, reducing potential data entry errors. This includes half the diameter of the edge finder used to determine the X and Y workpiece coordinate system offsets, and the thickness of the piece of paper used to determine the Z-axis workpiece coordinate system offset. All of the measured values are calculated by the CNC and entered automatically into the offset tables with simple soft key actions. In this example, the spindle nose is used as a reference tool for tool length measurement. The benefits of this technique are there is no need to measure the lengths of the standard tools for each new job, and all of the tool length offset values are positive and are easy to correlate with the physical length of the tool. This reduces operator confusion. Job setup using these techniques only requires a few inexpensive instruments. A low cost edge finder, a thin piece of paper, and a tool offset gauge. The first task is to measure the X and Y workpiece coordinate system offset values. This uses the direct input of workpiece origin setting measured feature on the CNC and the low cost mechanical edge finder. Before mounting the part in the work holding, check that there are no burrs that might produce a false edge detection. With the edge finder mounted in the spindle, run the spindle at 1000 RPM. First, measure the X workpiece coordinate offset. Jog the X, Y, and Z axis so the edge finder is positioned about one inch off the left-hand edge of the part. Move the edge finder in the Z axis only until the end is just below the top surface of the workpiece. Switch to the smallest jog increment. Slowly move the edge finder in the X axis towards the edge of the part until the upper and lower parts align and stabilize. Move your observation point so you can look at the edge finder in a direction perpendicular to the edge being measured. Jog the X axis one increment at a time until the edge finder kicks. Back off the part a couple of increments and then advance again until the edge finder kicks again to ensure the position sensed is repeatable. Press the offset function button on the CNC MDI panel. Press the work soft key to display the workpiece coordinate system offset page. And then press the operation soft key to display the measure soft key. If necessary, press the page down key on the MDI panel until the workpiece coordinate system offset used in the PAR program is displayed. This will often be the default G54 offset. Use the cursor keys to select the x-axis field of the workpiece coordinate system offset used in the PAR program. Enter the x letter address, a minus sign, and half the edge finder's diameter into the CNC key input buffer. For example, if the edge finder has a diameter of 0.2 inches, enter x minus 0.1 inch in the key input buffer. Press the measure soft key and the offset value is automatically set in the workpiece coordinate system offset table and the x-axis absolute position is updated accordingly. Using the same process, now measure the y workpiece coordinate system offset. Jog it to position. Slowly move the edge finder towards the edge until the upper and lower parts align and stabilize. Move your observation point to view the kick and jog one increment at a time until the edge finder kicks. Back off and advance again to ensure a repeatable measurement. Select the Y axis for the workpiece coordinate system setting. This time enter the Y letter address minus half the edge finder diameter, which is 0.1 inches, and then press the measure soft key. The Y offset is now set and the absolute position updates. The X and Y coordinate system offsets are now set. With no tool in the spindle, jog the spindle nose so it's about an inch above the top surface of the part. Using the smallest jog increment, 
very slowly move the z-axis down until it's almost touching the part, leaving a gap of a little over a paper thickness. Take a thin piece of paper and test if it can be inserted between the spindle nose and the top surface of the machine. Move the z-axis down one increment at a time until there's a slight mechanical resistance between the paper and the spindle nose. Press the offset function button on the CNC MDI panel. Press the work soft key to display the workpiece coordinate system offset page. Select the z-axis for the workpiece coordinate system setting used in the PAR program. The z-axis is now positioned a paper thickness above the part. This next step varies depending on the workpiece. If the top of the part is a good finished reference surface, all we need to do is allow for the thickness of paper. Enter the thickness of the paper in the key input buffer, say 4 thousandths of an inch or 0 0.004. If it is an unfinished blank, the ideal zero point is a short distance below the measured work surface to allow for a facing pass. In this case, enter the depth of cut of the facing path, say 50 thousandths or 0 0.05. Now press the measure soft key. Now all the workpiece coordinate system offsets have been set. Place the tool offset gauge on a clean, stable work surface such as a vise. Without any tool installed, jog the spindle nose above the tool offset gauge. Using the smallest jog increment, slowly lower the spindle nose until the light is triggered. Press the position function button on the CNC MDI panel. Press the relative soft key to display the relative coordinate system position page. Enter Z0 in the key input buffer and press the preset soft key. The relative position 0 is now set to the reference height of the tool offset gauge. Load the tool to be measured into the spindle. Jog the tool above the tool offset gauge and slowly lower it until the light is triggered. Press the offset function button on the CNC MDI panel. Press the offset soft key to display the tool offset page. Use the page and cursor keys to display and select the geometry length offset for the current tool. Press the Z letter address and press the input C soft key. The first tool measurement is now complete and the next tool can be measured. Again, load the tool to be measured into the spindle, jog the tool above the tool offset gauge and slowly lower it until the light is triggered. Use the cursor keys to display and select the geometry length offset for the current tool. Enter the letter address Z and press the input C soft key. That tool is now complete. This process is repeated for any new tools. This completes the setup task for the new job.